Both the Harris and Trump campaigns are spending millions of dollars on advertisements targeting specific demographics. Recent CBS News polling shows 64 percent of likely voters under the age of 30 have Vice President Kamala Harris as their choice for president. 36 percent said they would vote for former President Trump. Peter Hamby joins us now. He is a founding partner at Puck and the host of Snapchat's Good Luck America. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Big night for CBS. According to Pew Research, President Biden won 59 percent of voters under 30 in 2020. How does the Harris campaign compare? Uh, look, they are getting there. Uh, when Biden left the race, it was uh, the Democrats were in bad shape. Joe Biden was not winning young voters by the margins that he needed to win the election. The general thinking, at least since Barack Obama's first election, uh, first election in 2008, is that Democrats need to win about 60 percent of the youth vote, that vote from uh, voters between the ages of 18 and 29. Kamala Harris is getting there, but it depends on the poll that you're looking at. At the Harvard Youth Poll, which is kind of seen as the gold standard uh, these days of looking at how Gen Z is thinking about politics, Kamala Harris is winning likely young voters by 31 points. But if you look at the New York Times Siena poll that just came out a few days ago, she's winning that same demo by 23 points, according to that poll. Uh, if you look at the Harvard Youth Poll, uh, Joe Biden is winning young Hispanic voters by about 30 points. If you look at the NBC Telemundo poll that just came out a few, few days ago, she's uh, only winning by 10 points. So it depends on the data. It's hard to poll this demographic, uh, especially first-time voters who are only just registering. And remember, some of these people who are going to be voting in this election they were only in middle school or high school when Donald Trump first came down that escalator in 2015. So this is all they've known. This political era that we live in, uh, we take for granted that Donald Trump might be newer on the scene. This generation doesn't. But Kamala Harris is making an effort lately going on the Up and Smoke podcast to talk basketball, but also about uh, young black men. And then she has influencers going out there on TikTok talking about how Trump's tariffs would raise the prices of alcohol. Uh, and then she had Dave Bautista come out the other day uh, because she needs to get that uh, young men, young male vote. So she is working on things, and I think it's showing up in the polls so far, but she does have work to do. The good news for her is she is dominating among young women, and that could make up for any losses among young men. What can you tell us about the Gen Z voter gender gap? It's very interesting. The young men in particular have moved away from the Democratic Party in a pretty remarkable way in just the last four years. Uh, if you go back to 2020, uh, Joe Biden probably won young men by about 23 points, uh, won young women by about 30 points. Right now, Kamala Harris is winning young women uh, by almost 50 points. That is remarkable. But she's only winning young men by 17 points, a massive gender gap. Look, she's still winning young men. But it's clear that whether it's the economy uh, and what, or whether it's Trump's sort of cultural appeal or his media strategy of going on podcasts like Lex Friedman and Theo Vaughn, uh, this demographic has come up watching YouTubers, looking at Snapchat, uh, listening to podcasts. That's where they're getting their information. And Donald Trump has very much leaned into that. I'm currently in North Carolina, obviously a battleground state. Over the weekend when I was watching football on YouTube TV streaming, I was getting nailed with ads from Trump Super PAC, MAGA hmm. Inc., from the Trump campaign, just going after Kamala Harris. And I was seeing more Trump ads than Kamala ads because I am a target demo for the Trump campaign, ah. theoretically, a man between 18 and 44 watching sports on streaming. So the Trump campaign is going very hard at that. So are their allies. Uh, but again, Kamala Harris can make up for whatever okay. deficit she has with young men. Uh, by her enormous support with young women. Politics aside, we're glad you're a fan of streaming. We are here to Peter Hamby. Thank <laughs> of you. Course.